What's going on everybody? Today we're going to be doing a review of the Legendary Foods Tasty Pastries, well four of them specifically. Uh, you'll know the flavors as we're going through here. This is a little something new, so if you happen to enjoy it, be sure to head down below the video, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and of course comment and let me know. What I'm doing here today is pretty simple in practice. I'm going to be eating tasty pastries and watching anime. Pretty great combination, right? So the first one up here is the cookies and cream flavor. It's got some pretty great macros. Uh, 20 grams of protein, 5 grams of net carbs, 0 grams of sugar, 8 grams of fiber, 170 calories total, and 7 grams of fat. So pretty solid. You can see that up on the screen right now. So this one was one of the ones I was actually pretty excited to taste. So as you can see, it's got a pretty kind of lackluster coating on the outside there doesn't really pop on screen uh, and a lot of that is down to the fact that the pastry itself is pretty thick it's a pretty significant section of the actual uh the actual product and it's kind of dry if i'm if i'm totally honest the cream on the inside's not bad but it's just not enough to really bring up the moistness now this one like i mentioned probably one of my favorites and the most anticipated so the rating it's going to get it's going to be pretty good seven out of ten that's a pretty solid rating i'd say so next up on the list we have the strawberry flavor. Now the strawberry flavor is the first on the list of flavors that I'm actually pretty concerned with. I find that berry flavors when it comes to synthetic berry flavors are pretty iffy. Now this one, slightly different macros on it. 20 grams of protein, just like the last one, five grams of net carbs, zero grams of sugar, eight grams of fiber, 180 calories total, and eight grams of fat total. So as you can see on the top here, it's got sort of like a layer of sort of like icing and then with sprinkles, I guess, inside. Uh, some of mine is sort of chipped off, which I kind of go and inspect afterwards. But of course, you can see the pastry pretty thick. And again, the pastry across the board was pretty dry so as i'm going through it here i'll actually give you a chance to take a look on the inside there so you can see the filling on the inside it's not really that moist either so it doesn't really do anything to improve the moistness of the entire pastry so uh, it, i'm also really iffy on the strawberry flavor at this point as you can see it's, it's not exactly my favorite flavor in the whole world uh that being said i still tried to give it a fair shot so we're 40 grams protein deep and Five out of 10 on that one. Not really impressive, but not the worst thing ever. It's just not something that I would really suggest if you had the option to do something else, especially if you're not the kind of person who really, really jives off of fruit flavors. Now, next on the list, is another one that I thought was probably going to stand pretty high on my list of ones that were pretty good. And this is the hot fudge sundae flavor. So this one looked like it was going to be pretty tasty. I was pretty excited about this one as well. Uh, so for the macros on this one, it's pretty similar to the other ones. You're going to get same 20 grams of protein, 5 grams of net carbs, uh, less than 1 gram of sugar. So we're actually stepping just a little bit higher on the scale there. But again, so little that really you shouldn't be concerned with that. Uh, 8 grams of fiber, 180 calories, and 8 grams of fat. Uh, as you can see, I'm getting a little distracted by the anime, so it's kind of hovering up a little bit more. Also, just generally hard to center a shot when you cannot see the shot at all. So do forgive me. Hopefully this gets better over time. So... Uh, at this point in time, you're probably noticing, like, I'm, I'm kind of trying to make sure that the stuff doesn't fall all over the place. But, I mean, it, it's got this sort of, like, almost, like, crumble topping on top of the icing there. And it does not stay very much. So, it does fall off. In terms of the messiness of all of these particular pastries, this one probably was the most messy. Just because of that crumble that they put on the top there. So, of course, eating it pretty much like you'd expect based on the experience I had from the last ones. The pastry, of course, a lot drier than I would want it to be. This is improved slightly by it being if you put it in the microwave like they suggest. And so I've tried that too. I do suggest it. It's not a bad way to go about it. If you're doing this, I would say that's probably one of the better ways to do it. That being said, uh, it's not going to really like completely boggle your like just change your world based on that one small factor. But it is a, a, a notable improvement. Um, the icing on the inside still kind of on the dry side and you know what if I'm going to be totally honest here I think I would take a couple extra grams of fat if they could use that to increase the moistness of either the pastry uh, or the cream on the inside amplify that a little bit 
kind of looking outside. It was a bit of a windstorm that day, so things were getting a little crazy out in the balcony, uh, but I digress. Um, so yeah, I would take the bump on calories and macros. I think it has a little bit of headroom. Uh, that being said, hot fudge sundae, it's actually a pretty good flavor, and it actually it stands up pretty well against the other flavors, especially when comparing it, in my opinion, to the fruit flavors. I really don't think the fruit flavors stand up very well. Uh, and you know, it, six out of 10, not bad. I mean, again, I kind of came into this, when you say Tasty Pastry and you have this shape, it looks like a Pop-Tart. So my brain is thinking Pop-Tart. So it's got a lot to live up to. Uh, the next flavor is the blueberry flavor. And I saved this one for last on purpose. And that is because I have a bit of a fear of blueberry flavors when it comes to sort of synthetic blueberry flavors. It's just, it almost never works. It almost always has this really gross kind of flavor to it. So as I'm looking at the top here, I noticed that it's got the icing and then like some sort of weird shiny flake thing going on in the top there. Like a, they look like, it looks like glitter. And if there's one thing I sort of abhor in general, it's, I just, I hate glitter. Glitter is trash. It's, it's the herpes of craft supplies as the joke goes. It gets everywhere and then never goes away. And upon seeing it on top of this pastry, I was immediately suspicious. So it didn't really start off in the best way. So of course, getting into it, same thing. The pastry, nah, a little on the dry side. You know, I'm just trying to be honest about it. Uh, the the cream filling or the filling on the inside, it, again, it doesn't really have a lot of moistness to it. So it doesn't really bring anything on that. And it's just basically flavoring, a sort of a way to break up the flavor of the pastry that you're eating, which is pretty good. It's good to, to do that for sure. I just don't think it brings a lot to the table other than that. Um, you can look on the inside here, like you can also kind of see it. I mean, shot's not focused. I wish it was, get a little bit better there. But yeah, it doesn't really, you don't see a lot of moistness there. It's pretty dry and that's, um, it's not, it's pretty typical. As you've seen, I've eaten three of these so far. This is the fourth one and it's pretty much the same deal. Uh, macros, uh, pretty much the same. 20 grams of protein, five grams of net carbs, less than one gram of sugar, eight grams of fiber, 180 calories, and eight grams of fat. So, you know, you're coming in still pretty low on the, the scale for calories. Uh, this is a product that is actually touted as being uh, very friendly for the keto crowd, which is great for those of you looking to kind of keep your carbohydrate intake low uh, and still find some way to, you know, satisfy your sweet tooth, because I know that can be a, a huge challenge, but if you're doing it with blueberry, I don't know what kind of life you live in because I'm not about it. Four out of 10, not my favorite flavor. I really don't like that blueberry flavor. It has a weird aftertaste in my opinion. Uh, honestly, the berry flavors kind of followed my expectations in that they were just kind of eh and, and just really not not bringing the heat. They didn't, they didn't have the juice in my opinion. Uh, now, in terms of ranking them, uh, what say you, Keegan? Obviously, cookies and cream, that one's gonna stand at the top. That was my favorite of all of the four. The next one up would be the hot fudge sundae. Easy second place there, and not by a huge margin. I think the hot fudge sundae is definitely a solid one for a lot of people, and you might even think the hot fudge sundae is better. Uh, now, of course, the strawberry and blueberry, respectively, fall in the lowest category for me. And honestly, if I was to talk to anybody, I'd say those two, just no, not those, just not those. Pick any other flavor. Uh, now, that being said, there is also a cinnamon flavor that I didn't have access to when doing this video, and uh, I'm totally willing to do a video on that in the future. We'll see. Anyhow, that brings us to the end of the video, so I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, and of course, stay shining, because the galaxy can only be a bright and beautiful place. We all shine together. Peace.